everyone. It's been almost two years, but here we are back again for a look at the old manga collection. So we're just going to do a little bit of talking here at the front for those of you who don't want to watch a probably hour plus long video for all of the information that you're just kind of curious about. But we'll talk about that stuff. And then after I'm done that, if you want to bounce, feel free. But then for the whole latter half of the video, we're just going to be going through the whole thing for those people who just want to see every single volume. So, for those of you who don't know, I am Fiddle Ferret. Uh, I have been collecting manga since somewhere around mid-2008. Uh, my first ever volume of manga, I believe, was volume 27 of Naruto. Uh, the old Sasuke transformation on the cover. Because uh, I believe that was when I first discovered uh, anime in general on Cartoon Network. And that's where I cut up to it. And then I went, wait a minute. These things also come in book form. And that's pretty much where it started. Um, from then, from there, I went, my second series was A Strange One in Inubaka. Uh, but from there, I just de developed um, a huge love for manga and anime in general. And all the genre and all the things that come with it. Now, as you can see here, there are a lot of volumes of manga in this room, and these weren't all collected overnight. Seeing as I wasn't even in high school yet when I started reading manga, I'd use, you know, the money I earned from doing chores and stuff to buy a few volumes here and there on my little borders. <sighs> borders. And pretty much every week I'd go to borders and I'd get a few volumes with whatever money I had on me. Now, the first time my manga collection really boomed is the aforementioned Borders sadly went out of business. I don't know. I don't really remember what year it was, but I'd probably been collecting manga at that point for a few years. And collecting like I started to do and like I still do now, you need some lucky breaks if you're going to have as much manga as I do. Because let's face it, manga is very expensive at times, but there are absolutely ways to find it for better prices. So, over the course of Borders closing, I probably bought hundreds of volumes because the longer the closure would go on, you know, they're just store liquidating, you know, everything 75, 80, 90% off. So, I really, really filled out a lot of my collection in that time frame. And really over the years from there, I really started bargain hunting a lot for manga because if you've been collecting manga as long as I have, you really realize that the MSRP price on the back is not, you know, the price a store needs to get to be able to profit off of that book. Stores, from what I've been able to find, can basically sell a volume of manga for less, almost less than half, if not half, of its retail price and still make a profit at store level, even if not a small, even if just a small one. And so, ever since then, it's really been what I'm doing. Use bookstores, sales online, at conventions. There's one convention in particular where if you've been on my channel for a while, you've probably heard me talk about it before, which was crazy. There was a small little local shop that had hundreds, if not a thousand volumes of manga, and they were done selling manga. They did not want to sell manga anymore. And I got so many weird... I'm uh, just... Volumes of manga I've never even heard of anywhere else before. They, they've just been sitting on their shelves for so long and no one ever bought them. And I, I just got hundreds of volumes for them at just prices that are just kind of ridiculous. So we can go over a few of the numbers here. So um, at this count, um, in my last manga collection video, I had about 3,000 volumes. Now, most likely in raw volume count in that video, I was under 3,000 because I believe in that video I may have cheated and counted omnibus volumes as however many volumes they were. Now the raw volume count of my collection right now is somewhere in the realm of 3,215. Now I know it's a few more volumes than that because I have a couple volumes loaned out to friends. And let's face it, when you have this many volumes of manga, you just miscounting some of them. So probably somewhere in the realm of 3,200 and no more than 30 or 40. Now, if you did what I did last time and you actually said, okay, now how many volumes would I have if I counted all the omnibus volumes as if I they were, you know, there's two, there's three um, volumes in this one omnibus, let's count that as three. It'd be somewhere probably in the round realm of 3,300, probably more like 3,350. Now, another really popular question, have I read 
all of these volumes of manga that I own. Absolutely not even close. So there was a time when I was still in high school and I obviously didn't have as much free money, um, or I say free money, as much money to spend on manga. Um, I pretty much just kept up with them all the time. And probably for the first five, six, seven years, I read and collected manga. I was up to date on everything. Um, but once things like Borders happened, or the convention where I got just hundreds of volumes, you know, you get behind and there are series that sometimes just languish on your shelf and just don't really get, I've just never even got to still to this day. But some people really frown upon the whole collecting side of things. Uh, I will not be ashamed to say it's something I really enjoy doing. Um, just having something that is a rare piece of history uh, is something I just enjoy. I like going to a used bookstore and finding something different. Um, whether or not I get to it in a year or two, I really don't mind. Everyone has their own way of collecting or just reading manga. And I'd also say my buying habits have definitely changed over time. Because um, before, you know, I'd buy a million volume ones and I'd read them and I'd go from there. But now, as I've gotten older, if I'm going to give a series a shot, I like to read more than one volume. So I spend a lot of my like my spending habits these days, like if Right Stuff is going to have a sale, or I'll just wait for Right Stuff to have sales. And by the time I wait, if there's, you know, five or six volumes out of a series and then they put it in a bundle pack, I'll just buy the bundle pack. And I'll have those volumes and I'll decide from there whether or not I want to continue the series. Now, if you stick with me to go around the whole room here, you're going to have to cut me some slack because some of these series, it's been 10 plus years, which is scary to think about since I've read some of them. I read some of them when I was a, a little boy in high school and I just remember, man, that was really good. It might not have been good. I just thought it was at the time because I was really new to stuff, but hey, like, um, Fallen Vampire. We will get to that, and I'll say, I remember really liking this. There was some huge plot twist. I can't remember for the life of me what it was. I'm also highly dyslexic, so you'll also see a bunch of volumes will be out of place. I'm so sorry for all my ADHD <laughs> brothers and sisters out there, but I will, do my, I will do my best when I'm reading titles wrong and having them in the wrong spaces. Now, before I do start going into everything, just volume by volume and we'll just go down the rows and see what I have. Um, in this video I just want to say I'm not going to really spend any of the time on any of the anime I have in here or the figures. Um, maybe I'll do in a separate video just because there's less of it and it'll, this video is going to be long enough as it is. And so maybe we'll, I'm going to skip most of the anime, most of the figures, and before I go volume by volume I'm just going to like show the shelves a little bit, tell you how they're arranged and what's on them. And then from there, we're just going to go through it. So if you guys stick around for that whole thing, thanks a whole bunch. Um, and if you don't, hey, I never asked this, but this is usually a big video to record and it's a lot of work, especially like you have no idea how long it took me to count all these things. If you could comment on it, share it with someone you think would just think this room looks cool. Uh, it was kind of my dream room and the fact that I, I've made it, you know, actually happened still blows my mind to this day so share it with a friend comment on it like it and all that stupid youtube stuff that i feel like i have to say but anyway guys let's go look look at some shelves and then we'll look at some manga all right so we'll start with these two shelves here so what's particular about these two shelves is where i keep basically all of my large volumes um so all of the oversized volumes and stuff like that is kind of where all of they live um just on these two here now this is also where my light novels live i don't have a ton of them um but we'll get to them there when we get to them but it, like my hard covers my you know oversized volumes the real big omnibus volumes that's pretty much where all that stuff is you can see on the left shelf there i've improvised and got it built up even higher but uh, we'll go over that in more detail when we get there now these two shelves here I believe are not in alphabetical, but they are mostly split up by publisher. And for the big chungus that uh, I can't get the whole thing in frame because this room isn't really uh, wide enough for me to just stand back far enough. But as you can see, uh, these are just some customized shelves I used. Uh, my uncle helped me make them. And I say help, I paid him to do it. So, I mean, that <laughs> being an adult is fun. Uh, and so there are, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's, there's eight shelves. And this year, I've had to um, start getting creative 
and kind of made an improvised ninth shelf on the floor, but I do have a board under that right there. Now all of these here, so it's split up by publisher. So I believe it goes Bondi, Yen Press, Viz Media, then Kodansha, and then Seven Seas is I believe how it, it works its way, it works its way down. It's, and that this is all basically alphabetical. So it's alphabetical by publisher. So we'll have Bondi from A to Z, Yen from A to Z, you know, Viz from, you, you guys get the idea. Now, once we do get over here, um, we get to the small shelves. Um, these just continue from the big shelf, but let's see, are these alphabetical? These are kind of alphabetical, but not really. Um, so I believe what happens is my seven C's ends and these shelves hold my shoujo beat manga. So even though they're viz, I just kind of split my, my shoujo into a different place. Cause I just, I thought that was a nice, just variation. So it was all in one spot. And then we have like the smaller publishers, like my vertical and my dark horse. And then some really random other publishers I have up in that little black shelf. Not that it's now showing it at all. And then in this shelf here, it's like my to read section. So, so I don't like lose track of volumes. I put manga that is on my, I'm currently reading list. So if we go to a shelf and you see volumes missing or something, or don't know where they are, or something's out of place, there's two options. It's on my currently reading shelf or it's on my signed volume shelf, which we will get to later. But anyway, guys, I think it's finally time. We started looking at some manga. All right. Now the hard part the top shelf so um this will be a little choppy because i'm on a stool but hey here we are let's go it's gonna be a long one so hack and hack to you plus got a bunch of the hack books there i'm really happy to have this whole series um the last few volumes of this one are always really hard to find animal academy burst angel chibi vampire was one i loved in high school it like really fed my little my little heart to looking for love um all of Code Geass is a real proud um, own. I know Volume 8 can be really hard to find. The same thing with all of Nightmare of Nunnally. It's really interesting reading the manga because there's no mechs in them, so it's just bizarre. Um, the Suzaku ones. I only have two volumes of Code Geass Queen, which make me real sad. I really wish I had kept up with those, but that was like right when Bondi went under the first time, so I, I missed a bunch of them. Deers, the complete set, all that was ever released of Dean Angel, a couple Digimon volumes, let's see, some Fate books, um, what was published of Future Diary, really annoyed that that was never released in full in print, a few volumes of Get Backers, Gurren Login. I don't believe I have all the volumes, I think there is a 6 and maybe even a 7 that was released, but still happy to have what I have. Kimmy Kiss, another one in high school that, uh, Let's just say you really tickled my fancy. Uh, All of Love Hina. I believe we'll see that again at some point. Let's see. What is that? Oh, Psychic Academy. Peach Fuzz, because there was ferrets on it, so I had to buy it. But, you know, don't read it. Um, some Rave Master. Really sad I don't have more Rave Master. Uh, I'd love more, but it's the stuff's hard to find. Let's see. Bunch of random stuff. A Stitch. Uh, that, the third book's there. Oddly enough, like, super, like, the second or third series I ever bought, which is just totally random because it's such a nothing series. Let's see, which, um, which blade, and then three volumes of, sorry, I'm so far away from it, Alice of Deadlines. I don't, I don't know what that is, but it's in my collection. And then, oh no, I'm sorry, I went one, one beyond it, but that ends our Bondi selection. So all, all the, all the oldies, all the olds. Let's see, so here we got A Come and a Kill, want more of that for sure, and Happy, Bamboo Blade, let's see, Black God, some Black Butler, Black Butler is a series that I really enjoyed when I was reading it, but it's something that I really don't have much interest in anymore, a little bit of B-Tomb, a few random volumes of um, a certain magical index, I know I've found some used before, that's why that one's so spotty over there, Cats, um, the Coffin one, Let's see. And then some Dara Ra Ra, the elderly sister-like one. That series is one I just appreciate more and more because I watch uh, Poochie Mama sometimes on YouTube now and she's absolutely adorable. Next row. 
All right, starting here, we've got some Fire Force. That's just another series that I really need more of. Um, Harui Suzumiya, a series that I don't know if these are hard to find anymore. They probably are. So the fact that I was just kind of lazily collecting it is going to be probably tragic because I don't quite have them all yet. Um, High School of the Dead, um, School D&D. I have a lot of volumes of Higurashi, and I know for a fact that this one's super hard to find now. Unfortunately, I, I didn't quite finish collecting it, so that is a real shame, but I do at least have some of the hard ones to find. You'll see I have Nendroids popped in, in here in places. Uh, I do that mostly because it's kind of a neat way to display them. And when I need, uh, when I st let's say I found those Higurashi volumes I needed, I've got a built-in space without having to move everything. Um, Horror Mia, great series. Um, How to Raise a Boring Girlfriend. Let's see, we got out something here. Dungeon. Let's see what else we got here. Jack Frost. And then what's this one called again? It's really long. Kiss and White Lily for my dearest girl. I knew it was something slightly bizarre. Let's see, we got some of the Madoka Magica stuff. My Youth Romantic Comedy. What else we got here? There's the actual box set. That's a nice box set. Um, no matter how I look at it, that's a great series. And let's see. These ones, man, I, I bought those forever ago. So long. Some Overlord. Uh, Pandora Hearts. That was one I really, really liked in high school. Um, I'm really bummed I didn't get the those like really nice collector's box that came out for it. But I had just bought a collector's of something else and... I really just could not do it at the time, and I'm pretty sure now it's it's pretty much gone the way of the Dodo, which is uh, unfortunate. Just the one volume of ReZero. So, the So What I'm a Spider series. I love these books. I really need to get some more of those soon. Strike the Blood. Missing some volumes there. What's this one called again? It's really fun to say if I remember right. Sumo Momo, Momo Momo. What a weird series. I don't really remember it. I don't remember the plot, really. All I remember is it was wild when I was reading it back in high school. One volume of School Live. Soul Eater, one of my favorite series of all time. Just the art style is stunning. Excel World, some sword art online books. To the next one. I say the next one, the next shelf where I don't need a step stool on, so that'll be nice. Here we got some Spice and Wolf, which I really need to finish up. Some more of the Soul Eater stuff, Soul Eater Not, which probably means that that's out of place and as far as alphabetically goes, but oh well. This is a series that I was buying used over the course of time, and uh, one of those ones where I'll regret doing that because I'm pretty sure these are super, almost impossible to get now, so I don't know if I'll ever be able to complete that one. Um, Tri-Edge X, Cerberus. Trinity 7, I remember the more I got into that, the more I don't think I was a fan of that series super, super, super much. Yotsuba, an absolute classic. Um, Bakuman? Bakuman gets a lot of hate. I don't know, I liked it. I also read it in high school, so I don't know, maybe that's the reason, but whatever. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Um, Black Cat. And here's Bleach. Um, we're starting at volume 2 because I actually have the box set of the first one. And so that is actually in a different spot. You might have spotted it earlier uh, in the video. But until then, just a lot of bleach. Good thing for... See, now we're into Viz. Which I completely, again, forgot to uh, state that we were going on to another company. But I believe that started with Bakuman. Blue Exorcist. A series that didn't really get me as engaged as a lot of the other Shonen did. Um, Assassination Classroom. A series I really liked. I know a friend of mine has some of these volumes, so that's why it's so spotty on the shelf here. Let's see. Dead Men Wonderland. You'll see later why Volume 1 is not on the shelf. It's in a different place. Demon Slayer. Uh, D. Grayman. Another one that it's been forever since I've read it. I remember loving it, but to really get back into that series, I'd really have to uh, probably read it from, from the beginning again. And then Dragon Drive, and then rounding it off with Dr. Stone, one I probably won't get any more of unless I find some cheap used volumes. Excel World, another one that I will probably kick myself forever for just not buying when I had the chance because I just, I would find them used every once in a while. So I don't know if I'll ever be able to complete that with the way the manga market is now. Uh, we'll, pretend, probably in my top five series of all time, I Shield 21, just fantastic. There it is, there's Fallen Angel. 
I remember liking it. It's got really beautiful spines. I fucking have no idea what it was about. I, I, I completely forget. Um, Food Wars. These volumes look pretty good in the shelf. I'm not going to lie. They look pretty tight. Uh, I need to finish that series off, but I'm getting there. I've almost, uh, I've almost caught up to all the ones I've, I own. I think I'm on like volume like 26. And once I do, I'll, um, probably finish off the series and buy the rest. Again, probably one I can put in my top five. Fullmetal Alchemist. Fantastic, fantastic series. Let's see. Hi Q. I need more of those, but I haven't really gotten to that one yet. High Tech Combat Butler. This, I had this complete series. I bought this complete series at a used bookstore. Someone brought in the whole thing. Got that one for a real nice price. Hunter Hunter. I remember not to say Hunter X Hunter for once in my life. I feel kind of proud of myself for that. Inubaka, just depressed forever that um, this happened in the 2008, just dark age of manga, so this will never be finished. Uh, Komi Can't Communicate, I only have two volumes. Uh, I love this series, but I don't know why I don't have more of them yet, but that's why I've left such a gap here, because it's going to fill it out quickly. Um, Kaguya-sama, Love is War. I bought these thinking I'd love them, but I'm not going to lie, I'm struggling with them, so you guys will have to let me know if it gets better the farther you go in, but I am kind of struggling with them at the moment. And then rounding off with some good old basketball and another series that will never be finished, Sad Days. Perhaps the series with the most beautiful spines on this shelf, Magi, they're just stunning. Let's see what else we got. Going into My Hero Academia here. I really like My Hero. I like it a lot. It's kind of gotten to that point where it's gotten popular enough that it's become popular to dislike it. Uh, so, hey, I guess that just means the series is, is doing well. And then Naruto! We, we really don't need to stay here forever. This is what got me into uh, manga, what got me into anime. Love the series, but I think we've all kind of seen it. Sorry about the sun, but we'll have to deal with it here and there in a few spots. But we have Nisekoi, the complete series. And then, there goes my camera. I knew it would come back to me eventually. Naru, Rise of the Yokai Clan. 1 through 25. One Punch. I kind of fell off One Punch, and I really haven't bothered to get back into it in a while. I know I will. And it's one of those series that it's easy to wait on a series like this, because you know there's so many of them that it's prime used book potential or sa like sale potential. So, one that I will definitely get more of someday. Prince of Tennis. I bought every single one of these volumes used for very cheap this is one of the few series on my shelf that i honestly could probably get rid of at some point because i'm just never gonna read it and i'm never gonna bother probably to collect them all either siren kind of a weird little series but i don't even quite have them all yet so i'm not sure if i ever will bother but maybe i will maybe i won't my god there's so many viz this is like the third shelf of viz manga so we have the promised neverland uh, Pretty Face, Reader Die, Shakugan no Shana. You'll know again why Volume 1 is missing a little later on. Tragically, I don't have much of Slam Dunk. Uh, I bought what I do have used and have just never gotten around to or found the other volumes so far. Seraph of the End was one that I really fell off of. I don't know if I'll ever go back to it, but maybe we will in time. A few volumes of Starbury 100%, all of uh, Tuxedo Gin. Tenji Mabachi, one I read way back in high school. Uh, Twin Star Exorcist, that's one I definitely want to get more of. I remember liking that, but for some reason just hasn't really been on my radar, but I do need more of it. Oh, Wolf's Rain, classic, classic, classic. Uh, Whistle, let's see, Seventh Garden, these on miss volumes of Air Gear. So now we're into Kotancha, by the way. Air Gear marked our switch finally out of Viz Manga. So here we have Attack on Titan. Hey, mate. Uh, this is a series that I'm trying to finish collecting before, you know. That's kind of the problem with the way I've collected because I've always just kind of collected in bits and pieces. But with the way the manga industry is right now, that's kind of a dangerous thing to do with the scarcity of some volumes and print runs. And here we have Fairy Tale. All of Fairy Tale. Just bam, Clino comes right around the corner. And then just a bunch of the offshoots there as well. Forget Me Not. Arslan was a series that I had high hopes for, but never really got, got me all that interested. And then we end off here on the end. Next one.
All right, I'm on my butt now, so sorry if you hear me scooching around. Kitchen Princess, the whole series. Let's see. There's Lavinia again. Uh, I have it also in Omnibus, but I'm missing the last volume. Let's see. Oh, Missions of Love. That was a weird one. I read back in high school. Let's see. My Little Monster. Don't have much of. Here's Negima. Probably the series I have the most love-hate relationship with, potentially, in my whole collection. Because I was reading it years and years and years ago when it was coming out. And I just remember the series is just a normal harem series. So as a high school kid, oh, sure, enjoyable enough. Then you get, like, I think it's, like, 21 or 22. The series actually gets real. And you go, oh, shit. Like, stuff's going down. And then from, like, here through, it's like a shonen, like, great, cra kind of crazy story. And then, then it ends. And the ending is dog shit ass balls. Um, and I never forgave it. So, you know, there we go. There's a continuation or something, but f I don't know if I really care. <laughs> I don't know if I care. Anyway, Ninja Girls. Hi, Ninja Girls. Noragami. Let's see. Pastel. Here, let me pause and move. Um, the Quintessential Quintuplets. Fantastic series. Love it. Loved it. I didn't think I would, especially because, unfortunately, the girl he ends up with got spoiled for me. I just didn't understand why or how. But when I actually read it, it was beautiful. Sherlock Bones, because why not? And then uh, The Seven Deadly Sins, another great series, but I am currently a little behind on this. I'm, I'm somewhere in here, but I'm going to have to like jump back to like catch back up. So I'm kind of in a weird spot with Seven Deadly Sins because I went a little too long without reading it, and now I'm, I'm kind of lost. Let's see, that whole series there, and then Say I Love You, uh, A Silent Voice, which is getting a, like, hardcover special release, which I am absolutely buying next year. Uh, Subasa, let's see, Mew Mew, well, oh, there it is, there it is, UQ Holder. I don't understand, it's supposed to be, I remember reading, like, the first two, like, volume or two, I don't even remember what the third volume even is about. But I didn't see how it was connected, and I just gave up on it, even though I, people were telling me it was. Yamada Kun and the Seven Witches, a series I think is actually fantastic to a point. I'm a little worried because the last few bits haven't been as good, but we'll, we're still holding that hope for that one. Your Lie in April, oh, I actually cried. Um, <laughs> so, it was Zakura Quartet. I don't even know, it's been so long. You can, you can even see it. Guys, do you see it? Do you do you see? Do you see my pain? My pain. Oh, that's how long ago I was buying those volumes. Ugh, oh, it just hurts. But yeah, those were a series I don't think was ever like finished, um, published in the in print. And then that ends off the shelf. You can see where I always have these spaces just to uh, if I ever need to like slide some volumes down for new stuff, then uh, then I'll have room for it. All right, and that ends um, Kodansha and leads us into Seven Seas. Although there is this volume of Brave here by Yen, but I think that's just there because if it wasn't there, those books would fall through the cap. <laughs> Let's see, so uh, The Ancient Magnus Bride, that's a real great series. I need more of those for sure. Um, I really enjoyed reading them. Let's see, what else we got here? Certain Scientific Railgun, which for some reason always a series that's impossible to find. Defrag, see a lot of these Seven Seas books or I, the last time I checked for having print issues, like I went to buy more defrag and I couldn't find them anywhere. Um, Dragon R, Dragon Half, so happy Seven Seas released that. That was so awesome. Um, Evergreen, from my fa possibly one of my favorite authors ever, but one of the worst manga I've ever read. So go figure. Uh, Freezing, uh, the Omnibus volumes, those are really nice releases. Let's see, let's move down. Here we have Golden Time. We have Hagony. Love Hagony. It's finally in the place now where it's... Because the light novels are a dumpster fire after, like, a certain point. Like, basically right after where the anime ends. But the manga supposedly is changing it, so fingers crossed. Let's see. Volleyball. Let's see. What else we got in there? <laughs> Inukuma. Man, those bring me back. Uh, can I eat your pancreas? Again, cried. CanCon, uh, let's see, Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer, the whole series, moving down, 
Magicka, Swordsman, and Summoner. Let's see. Mayo Chi is always one. I've, I've always wanted to just get the Omnibus volumes. But again, that's probably one where I should wait on it. Because if I do, I'll probably screw myself. I really want more of um, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. But... It's just one of those ones where it hasn't been high enough on the priority list for me to fill in. These volumes were both bargain bin at uh, Books A Million, so I got them for like three or four, three or four bucks a piece. So that's why I have those two random ones. Monster Mizumi. You will find I have a lot of Monster Girl books because I I, I like Monster Girls. <laughs> what can what can I say? Um, speaking of which, my Monster Secret, one of my favorite series of all time. I'd even dare say probably put it in my top five. I love it that much. Um, what a, what a great romance comedy harem. I'd put it on par with doing a harem well, um, like, uh, like quintessential quintuplets does. It's fantastic. Got orange back in there. Oh right, I forgot I did this. I need to put these back up. Hold on. Well, no, we'll do. We'll, we'll look at what we have in here first. So I have um. So we've got Nurse Atomi's Monster Infirmary. Then we have a really weird one, Pandora. How did it go again? Pandora in the Crimson Shell. I have up through volume six. And then maybe we'll just do this on the fly. Because the problem is I, I have lights on these so you guys can actually see the manga. Because if I didn't, you literally wouldn't be able to see shit. Let's see. So we have a bunch of the um, Strike Witches books. Let's see. Let's get this out of the way. And then we'll go through the rest of these. Uh, Servamp. And then just some random stuff. Testament of the Sister New Devil. And then Toradora, one of my favorite um, anime of all time. But the, the manga has like the, the weirdest, slowest release I've ever seen. It's kind of kind of strange, to be honest with you. So here we're going to have my improvised shelf. As you can kind of see, I have these like boards here put up so my dog doesn't knock into them. One day, if I, if I took and put all of these up one, um, I'd actually be able to push these back enough. So, but the problem is... I decided to try this after I'd rearranged the whole shelf. And let me tell you, taking all these off is a goddamn nightmare. So there, it's staying this way for now. So we have To Love Rue. Let's see. World War Blue. <laughs> we have our first appearance of Dance of the Vampire Bund. We'll see it again. We have Witch Hunter. Let's see. Zero's Familiar, the complete series. 12 Beast, and then a few of these are out of um, alphabetical, but I forgot to put them in earlier, so now that's where they sit. And for all of you little sad little boys going, where's One Piece? Where's One? You don't have One Piece? It's here, guys. Don't don't worry. I hear you typing a while. I can, I can just, you, you little clickety clacks, we're going right along. But you know they're down here. This is where I have my box sets for now. It's not ideal, but it also just kind of works. That's my camera charger right there, by the way. Um, so we have the first three box sets of One Piece, the second box set of Vampire Knight, the complete series box set of Death Note, and the first series box set of Bleach. And then over there, wham! Whoa, zoom! Oh, oh this is harder than I thought it was going to be. We have da uh, Rosario Vampire, which is fantastic, by the way. Absolutely love that series. So I'm not going to lie to you. I'm already exhausted, but we're going to finish this thing. So this is like my two read little cubby shelf. Um, it, there's a lot in here, but I put these in here just to not put them on the shelf. Because if I put them on the shelf, shelf, sometimes I forget about them and they get buried. If So I like to have them here and then put them on the shelf once I finish reading them. So you can just see there's a bunch of random stuff in here. We'll see some more of this stuff later, but I'm not going to go over it as much as some of the other stuff. I just want to show you. So you can see that if I was missing volume somewhere. If there's more Poochie Mama in here there's more hagony in here so uh then down on this one i believe i can show this because i think i'm safe here but this is all of my adult manga uh, most of it's faku some of it's uh one other company but i can't remember what it is what is it it's like monster girl smash Futaba mix curiosity and the cat um i can't remember there's there's a bunch of monster girl ones in there basically <laughs> it's basically all you need to know and then we have um this is more of the to read stuff i believe uh, i got so much stuff backed up man it's so bad and then that's just some random japanese volumes i have collected over the years all right i'm not going to spend too much time on t like flipping all these down although i probably should but we have um, alice 19th one through seven 
We have Blackbird in there, so I'm missing a few volumes here and there. Uh, Butterflies Flowers, I, I remember kind of liking that series, to be honest with you. Um, what do we have? Volumes 1 through 12, then a couple random volumes in there of a couple other things. And then we'll just look at the front here. Let's see. Godchild. What else do we have? Oh, Coming Summon Kiss was a good one. Although probably what I really liked over here was um, Kamino Toki. Wow, I can speak real words. I'd love to get more of these because I just, um, I really like them. But uh, I don't know where I am in them, which is the problem when you have so much manga. It gets confusing after a while. All right. And the first shoujo I ever read back there in uh, Library Wars was a was a really nice series. I liked it a lot. Midnight Secretary, My Love Story, which is a great introduction to shoujo. And then Natsumi's Book of Friends. I have one through 15. Let's see. And then here's the rest of them out here. Skip Beat, which is just kind of a classic. I think I'm missing some here and there. Let's see. 19, 20, 20, 20, 20. Yeah, I'm missing 23 and 26. So, and then I'm just behind in general on the series. And then there are a few more down here, actually, as well. Um, Snow White and the Red Hair. I like those first four volumes, so I'd like to get some more of those as well. And that's just kind of some box stoppers, and I'm not going to tell you, tell you what they are, but if you know, you know. Let's see. A Girl on the Shore, fucking weird. Imperfect Girl. Blood on the Tracks, fantastic series so far. Don't Mess With Me, Miss Nagatoro, fucking loving those so far. Witchcraft Works, also really good. Um, as you can see, we're now into, uh, <laughs> we're out of our shoujo and into um, Vertical. Um, another super freaking weird one, the, the Flowers of Evil, but I did enjoy it, I'm not going to lie. Let's see, and then behind it, we have the Knights of Sandonia. Let's see, let me find some focus for you lot. A Mysterious Girlfriend X. I love these books. Like, I really love them with a with a passion. So I got the whole series there. Um, Tokyo Esp. Is it Tokyo Esp or Tokyo Esper? Tokyo Esp. Um, first five volumes of that. And then some random stuff in there. Cardfight Vanguard. Ajin. My Neighbor Seki. Uh, the Garden of... Work? Words. Gotcha. After the Rain, beautiful art, but not for everybody. Uh, the two um, volume, like, omnibus of Chobits. Um, Gun, Gunsmith Cats, which got me in a lot of trouble in school when I brought it in to school with me. And some Trigun. And this is some, obviously, Dark Horse volumes down here with a couple vertical. Woo, so that's those shelves. I double shelf those, as you can see. Just kind of uh, helps me. So I've got some nice room over here still. So obviously I'll have two shelves over there. I'll have that one. I'll be able to get another whole one up on that one as well. So two down there. I'll be able to double shelf that one. And then I'll still be able to fill this one out and double shelf it if need be. Um, got my diva statue there. Got my signed little uh, my signed little thing here, which is... Uh, Hard, that's not really going to come, come out on camera at all, I don't think, but you can kind of see it. Uh, my little cosplay sword, a few random volumes here. I got these things from Viso, Viso, oh, I cannot speak, Vishojo. I don't know why I'm showing you this, because I told you at the beginning of the video I wasn't going to. But here we have a couple random volumes that, these are my latest volumes I've bought. And then in here, we'll finish off. I say finish off, we're just finishing off this before we just have two shelves left although there's a lot on them this is like the really random old stuff i have that's just from random publishers like comic party from cmp manga um high school girl alien nine just some real different out there stuff and down here is just kind of the same um sorry sorry these these books are beautiful um they've got like slip covers and everything but um, as far as I know, this is, um, all the volumes that were ever released of it. So yeah, um, then what else is in here? The Hentai Prince and the Stony Cat, those volumes are pretty rare. But yeah, that's it for, um, for over here on these shelves. Figures. Alright, going over here to the big tall shelves of the big tall manga. Um, what's that even called? Su, I don't remember, so it's Su, Zu, Suzuka. Man, I totally forgot how to pronounce it, but I'm, not, I'm leaving it in. Um, Barefoot Gen, A Lucky Star. I bought a lot of those at um, Borders when they were closing. I remember that. 
And then, so you'll see all these random volumes here. These are all here because they're signed. And I believe the ones that are like here are signed, I believe, on the inside cover probably. Let's see, yeah, so. So you can see this one was signed by the voice actor for the English of the uh, <clears throat> the anime for Toradora when that got a release. So these are just some cool volumes. I keep them over here. So first of all, I don't forget they're signed. You can keep track of them. But I will have some more signed volumes that we'll look at down below in just a minute. So going down, that stuff is just kind of older random stuff on that top shelf. Now we're moving, I believe, into some Viz stuff. But it's not all of the Viz stuff. So Evangelion... Um, Terraformars, um, some Black Lagoon, Let's see Goodnight Poon Poon over there. Let's see, just some more assorted stuff. And then we have some more Viz if we go down a step here. Um, Beastars, which is a series I'm really enjoying right now. I, I swear someone borrowed some of my Tokyo Ghoul. And I don't know who or what they did with it. And it's been a really long time, so unfortunately I'm pretty sure those are gone. Uh, 20th Century Boy. And then that there is actually like the special like release of Keys and Eyes. Um, I believe first CD. So that's just kind of a neat little thing there. Moving down again. So we have some cool stuff here, at least in my opinion. Um, these are all signed volumes here. Um, so if you saw that they were missing when we did our earlier excursions, here they are. Those are all ones where I just met them at cons, and if I knew they were going to be there, I'd bring a volume of manga with me, and yeah, so I've got them in plastic, and I've just kind of got them displayed like that, like this for now, and I think it's pretty cool, if I'm being honest with you. Let's see. So now we're moving on to um, Dark Horse stuff. Let's see, this is just kind of some a random assortment of stuff here, and now we'll move down lower. Let's see, what else we got? We got Card Captor. Oh my goddess, which... Fuck, it pisses me off that they're not printing more of these Omnibus editions. Like, for fuck's sake. That's so frustrating. Like, I love these, but what are you going to do, right? Let's see. We got some more signed ones. These are a bit harder to see because of the glare. But we can, we'll, we'll make it work. That's a really cool one over there. They, Monica Real and, uh, oh, what is the, is it Terry something? Whatever the guy's in that voices the kid um, from Dead Man Wonderland. They were both at the same really, really small convention in the state I'm in. And they were like right next to each other. So the fact they were both there and that volume of manga is matte. So I didn't really have to worry about it rubbing off. It, it, per, it was the perfect thing for them to sign. It was so cool. Let's see. More now we're moving on to yen press stuff again. These shells are kind of mixed and match, so this isn't all of my yen press stuff. Let's see, we got some can in there, some maximum ride, and then what's that one called again? Reborn as a polar bear, and then more and more and more words that I'm not going to get into. Scum's wish up there, I see as well. Here we have some seven seas big stuff, a centaur's life, citrus. Galico Chan, let's see, Kindred Spirits, that was a really fun visual novel as well. What else is down here? We've got Alice, a bunch of the Alice books. These are all bargain bin stuff, like almost everything down here. Like uh, all the Dance and the Vampire Bun things I bought for like five bucks a piece because they were all discounted bargain bin stuff. Some Kill the Kill on the end there from some random publishers. And now we'll move over to the last shelf. All right, up on the step stool once again. So I did double layer these as well. I have some boards under here that this stuff is on. So we've got the Fruits Basket, like original special volume releases from Bondi way back in the day, one through six. Uh, I love them a lot more than the <laughs> Seven Seas ones that are like hardcover and really kind of nice. Um, the Harvey Susan Mia hardcover novels, um, Alice in Murderland, uh, some really cool, the original volume releases of Mason Yukoku. Um, I think those are just really neat. I have the whole series. Then over here, some more just random hardcover stuff. Uh, Monster Girl Encyclopedia, Wolf Children. That's an amazing release too, by the way. I'm, I'm not, I've got to be totally real with you. Uh, some Mobile Suit Gundam. Those are pretty crazy releases as well. And then the two volumes of High School of the Dead in full color. All right, got to step back a little bit. And then here's uh, Inuyasha. I desperately need to get all these Viz big things and like finish this before I don't know these start disappearing too I've got almost all of them or I mean, I'm getting pretty damn close but 
That's one of those ones I need to stop being lazy about and finish them off. Um, and then here, a lot of these I bought used. Um, so here and there, I'm missing some, but um, this is just what I have of, of these older, like, Viz Big editions. All right, on this shelf here, I believe it's all again press. Let's see, we got some Sekirei there. I almost have all of Prison School. That series is just hilarious. I need to finish that one off. Um, I need to get more of um, Love at 14. I really like that series. I know some people didn't, but I enjoyed it a lot. I've got to be, I've got to say. And then here's um, Bunny Drop. Oh, there's Bunny Drop. If you know, you know. I don't really know what to say about it. This is a pretty cool shelf. Um, so we got Soul Eater here, the hardcovers. And then Vinland Saga. And then this is a really nice release I did an unboxing for in my video of like the huge Sword Art Online, like really special volume releases of the novels. That's actually just some books I bought on Amazon because I listened to the other book and like them a lot. Cinnamon Bun, they're really good. You should listen or buy them. Let's see. Let me try to help the glare for you guys here. Here's Berserk. One, two, three, six, and seven. So... I'm filling them in as I can. And then these kind of failed big releases of a uh, of fairy tale. And then they released Attack on Titan once too, but those are those were not well done. That was very poorly thought out. Let's see. And then moving down here, we're done manga. Oh no, we're not. I lied. So here we have so, a light novel shelf. So Spice and Wolf. I'll actually, that's the last thing I'll show. Don't, I'll try not to forget. So, I actually have all of Spice and Wolf, but it's not here. Um, some Sword Art Online books. No Game, No Life. Let's see what else is in here. Monster Mizumi. My Youth Romantic Comedy. All of the complete set of Toradora. Um, Monster Girl Doctor. Yay, Monster Girls. And then there are a few more down here. Um, those ones are like that, because I kind of want to make... I wanted to make an audiobook video, so I had those set aside to uh, to do that. And here we are, last shelf. Princess Jellyfish. What else is down here? Happiness. Let's see. Um, Welcome to the Ballroom was actually really good. I hope to get back to that at some point. Land of the Lustrious. Interviews with Monster Girls. Old Maidens in their Savage Season. Love, Love and Lies. Wotakoi. And Rent a Girlfriend. Um, there, there should be another series down here that my friend has all of it right now. Oh, what is it called? It's, I like, love it. Oh, well, I can't remember, but it's really good. And it's been in my inbox because anyway. So I said I'd leave this for last. And I'm not going to take it out because I honestly don't like touching it very much. Um, so this is in my figure display case, which somehow has gotten all this dust in it, which... You know, that's not really supposed to happen, but, you know, it apparently happened anyway. So this is the my Spice and Wolf Complete Collector's Edition, first edition, anniversary, whatever you want to call it. It's a long story. You can watch the whole video on my channel if you like it sometimes. But not only on one of the first edition collector's editions. It is signed by the author and numbered. So it really is truly one of the most special pieces in my whole collection. <sighs> wow. My mouth is dry. I'm kind of tired. That was a lot. But I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're watching this part right now, you've stuck with me through this whole thing. Thank you so much. Uh, it really means a lot. Uh, it's still hard to believe there are people who will watch a video this long and see all this but hey if you guys just enjoyed some chill background noise while I went over some of the manga I have I do hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions for me um, about my collection or about anything to do with this room or, or what I do go ahead and leave it in the comments and I'll try to answer it for you but until then I think that's it and this has been Fiddle Ferret and I'll see you guys back on the prowl next time see ya